Hi, I'm Angie. Welcome to RV360 by National Indoor RV Centers, where we have all the details on the latest coaches. NIRVC is a trusted resource with RV lifestyle specialists who are here to help you find your dream coach. NIRVC also supports you well after the sale with storage, service, and detailing. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to show you the 2025 Tiffin Allegro Bay. Now this is the 38 BB floor plan. There are two other floor plans that you can choose from. And this is the first time I've ever done the Allegro Bay video. So I'm just really excited to show it to you. Before we get started, I wanna let you know a few things. First of all, I'm gonna break this whole video down into chapters. So if you wanna skip ahead and go to the inside, feel free to do that. Secondly, I want to hear from you. So make sure you comment below. Let me know if there's something I didn't tell you, something you'd like to see next time. Um, all about getting comments and feedback because I know that's the only way I'll get better. And then thirdly, and most importantly, I want you to call us at National Indoor RV Centers. I love doing these videos. I love help educating um, people that are getting ready to go into the lifestyle or are already in it and ready to upgrade. Um, so love to help you, but I love to sell RVs even more. So make sure you give me a call. Um, we are ready and willing to help you at National Indoor RV Centers. And I don't wanna hear the excuse that, well, you don't have the Tiffin where I live. Well, guess what? We have a fly to buy program at National Indoor RV Centers. So we'll fly you in to take delivery, um, one way ticket for you and your uh, significant other to come in, take delivery. We have the full Tiffin line at our Nashville location. We also carry some Tiffins at our Atlanta and uh, Manassas, Virginia locations. So again, don't let that be a deterrent. Give us a call, we'll fly you in and we'll help you plan your first trip. So let's start at the very top. So we've got the one piece molded fiberglass front cap and you'll see we have a really nice cool window in there. So when the kids are up in the over cab bunk, they can see out and have a great view and not feel like they're in a little um, cubby. Then we have the great windshield. This is obviously the way that our trip begins because as soon as we get behind that steering wheel, we get to see the beautiful country through our windshield. And then we come back down here. Now, of course, we're in the Super C. This is how it sits on the Freightliner S2 RV chassis and has the front diesel engine. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So you just need to unhook the two locking straps. So you just pull that forward. So this is the Cummins B6.7 360 horsepower diesel engine with 800 pound foot of torque. So first of all, you're gonna have your power steering fluid. Then you can see your beautiful red engine there. Got your oil dipstick here and your oil fill is at the very top of the engine. And then you've got your trans oil fill and dipstick. And then you'll see your fuel filter and your fuel filter water separator. So right in the front here on the passenger side, we have the horns, the windshield wiper fluid. And then you can see this is our radiator. We've got the um, radiator in front and then the fan and we have the air inlet manifold um, for the air for the engine and our coolant and the air filter reminder so when that gets up to the red line it's time to change your air filter so behind the front grill you've got your cooling package or your radiators and your power steering radiator here now just a little radiator maintenance you'll see that you'll get bugs and debris in the front of those coils so when you get your camping spot, just grab your garden hose and just, you know, gently rinse those off. You don't want to bend the coils with the water. So not a power, not a power washer, folks, just uh, your garden hose. Then we have the tow hooks here and our LED lights. So we have the AccuRide rims, which are really nice. And then we have the Michelin 275 tires all the way around. So Tiffin's only giving you the best tires. National Indoor RV Centers is very concerned about our customer safety. Uh, we so much so that we sell a run flat device made specifically for RVs tested on RVs. Something you definitely want to have, so go check out my retro band video. So right at the entrance door, you've got a little light to help you safely get in and out of your coach. And then you've got a, your external mirrors and they are defrost. You're going to adjust those manually to make sure you've got the best viewing when you're driving down the road. 
step up is nice and then you have your side camera that's going to give you that shot of the full length of the side of your coach when you put on your blinkers your turn signals so that you can see you know everything around you you want to change lanes go ahead and throw on that blinker it's going to show you your full lane to the side of you and let you know if it's safe to change lanes so let's check out our storage first compartment nice big compartment we've got our hydraulic pump in there that's going to be for your slide room and for your automatic leveling jacks next one nice big compartment here just to give you an idea uh love and it's pass through as well so you have the opening is about 25 inches and then once you get inside you have man 33 and then pass through space you have 12 inches of pass through space so you do hit like i can see the inverter on the other side here but that's pretty tall space here you've got a 12 volt receptacle and two 110 outlets and then inside this compartment we've got our box of pans that go with our induction cooktop from tiffin and the hoses for our central vac so we've got a few things to talk about one with their doors i love tiffin's doors i know that sounds silly but they make their all their doors in-house they are super strong so i literally can like <laughs> i need to get stronger <laughs> i can put all my weight on that door and it doesn't drop at all so strong and they're super lightweight and you don't have to slam them so look at this like they kind of have a little spring motion and they shut on their own save your shoulders you're gonna love it but i just love that they're nice and strong let's talk about their sidewalls they use the crane noble select all composite exterior sidewalls so they are impervious to water they are uh, scratch resistant they are resistant to the elements and they are puncher and impact resistant as well and they just look amazing look at that paint job so you have your base coat then you have at least four coats of each color and then you have three coats of clear so this is the beautiful crimson mist exterior you have six other exteriors to choose from one of them being the midnight package which has the blacked out wheels and all blacked out package you'll see the frameless tinted windows all the way around the coach and then we've got a great gerard awning i want to go ahead and take that out for you so i'm going to open my door and notice when i open the door the steps come out once i'm at the campground and i don't want this i want the steps to stay out I just turn a little switch right here inside the door off. Now the steps will stay out until I turn on the engine. I'm gonna go ahead and extend the awning. Now I've got my awning out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my LED lights. So I'm setting the scene here. Now I can bring out my exterior TV, 32 inch LG TV for viewing, for tailgate, and also you've got that 12 volt receptacle in here um, and 110 outlet. If you wanted to add an, an exterior freezer, you could easily do that. If you have a tailgate party, you wanna have drinks and stuff outside, you can easily do that. Then in this compartment, you've got your sound bar as well and your quick charging um, USB port. Right above the doorway, we've got our porch light. And then here we've got the fill gravity fill for our fresh water tank so if you are dry camping and need to add potable water this is where you do it you can also disinfect your tank from here if you want to put some tablets in there but that's nice and locked so nothing can contaminate your fresh water compartment then we have the more storage here so we've got the two extra chairs for our dinette in this storage compartment it's lit and you can see the holding tanks looks like your black and your gray tank then we have our marker lights our gerard slide toppers just above the on the front of the slide there and then another big compartment our onan quiet diesel generator 8000 gen and we've got our coolant fill and our oil fill at the top we can also see that we can start and stop the generator from here. This is where we would reset the breaker if we trip the breaker and our generator hours. 
and another big storage compartment there. We have the service port there for behind the shower. And then we've got our last marker light for the passenger side of the coach. So at the very top of the coach, we've got the marker lights and it says Allegro Bay, our rear view camera. Then we have our uh, high brake lights and our fuel fill for our 100 gallon diesel fuel tank. Here's the seven way for your tow vehicle. So the hitch is rated for 12,000 pounds. That's a lot um, for the Allegro Bay. You've got 800 pounds of the torque. Now remember this whole back end will drop down so that you can uh, attach easier to like a trailer hitch. So let me go demo that for you. As I come around the driver's side rear, I've got the first marker light. Then we have the exhaust for our Aqua Hot, 250 diesel Aqua Hot. This is gonna be your on-demand hot water and furnace once you drop below 35 degrees. You've got the fuel filter for your Aqua Hot and the fill for the propylene glycol that goes into the Aqua Hot. Next up, we have the exhaust here for the generator. And I love that they put that back to the driver's side so that if you're running the generator outside, you don't have that exhaust in your campsite. Here we have a big storage compartment and we've got the SureGuard transfer switch. So um, those are super important to have. I always recommend having a second, um, a backup, a little bit extra insurance. So National Indoor RV Centers can install one right into this bay for you or we can um, get you one at the pole but the one inside your coach can never be stolen or taken away. So I just like, you, you'll never go wrong having extra insurance. I can promise you that. So here we have our 50 amp shore power cord. So you can just push it right through there. And then when you're done using it, you use the power button to just reel that back in. I also like to keep a washcloth handy here so that as the cord comes in, I can kind of rinse it off as it, you know, clean it off as it goes in. Just keep this compartment nice and clean. And then you've got a great huge storage compartment. So midship here, we have the vent for our uh, microwave convection oven. And then we've got the access port for behind the refrigerator. People don't realize that when, you know, you have an issue with the refrigerator, you either have got to take it all the way out or if you have an access access point, you can do the service right from here. Marker lights for the midship and then the engine exhaust. Here we've got our holding tanks behind here, our water filter for the whole coach. And this is where, where we were, are going to connect our stinky slinky. So we're gonna connect it right through here attach it to the bottom of this and then take this out and then thread it over to the sewer connection in the park. Our black tank T-bar and our gray tank T-bar. The rest of our wet bay here. So I'll start at the top, got our cable inputs and a solar input. If you want to put a, you know, little remote solar panel out, you can attach that right there. Water pump, two 110 outlets. Then you have your external shower, hot and cold. That's really nice if you want to rinse off after the day of beach or hiking. Then your lever here for your city water or tank fill, whichever you're doing. Your city water connection and your tank flush. Down here's our water pump and our low point drains. So when we winterize or you don't have to worry about that, just store your coach with us at National Indoor RV Centers and there's no need to winterize. You have four season use of your coach. And then here's a grommet so that you can put your garden hose through there and connect to the city water. So I believe you can see the freshwater tank below here. So you've got a huge freshwater tank on this coach. 150 gallon freshwater, uh, 70 gray and 45 black. More storage. And we've got the telescoping ladder. That's one of the things I forgot to show you right here on the rear back of the coach, up at the very top. That's what your telescoping ladder attaches into. This is now a standard item for 2025. I do love that. So you can store that easily in one of your bays and you can see the pass-through area that we have here. 
We also have our Dirt Devil filter for our central vac. We've got the uh, 2000 watt pure sign inverter. I like that it's mounted up high. You don't want to pack too much stuff around it because you want to make sure it can breathe. Now to this point, we've got our cutoff um, switch for our inverter, cutoff switch for our house batteries, and then resettable breakers for all of these nicely labeled items. Now, if we are not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers, where we store over 300 coaches at all of our permanent locations, always plugged into 50 amp service, valet service. Uh, just give us a call 24 hours before you want to take your coach out. We'll be, get it all ready for you. If you are not storing your coach with us and you're not storing where you've got uh, 50 amp service, then you want to make sure you get all your disconnects turned off. So your battery disconnect, your inverter disconnect, because you don't want any parasitic draw on your batteries. Here are our house and chassis batteries, house batteries in the front, and then chassis batteries behind that. And then you have your chassis battery disconnect. And we have our second camera for the left side of the coach when we turn on that blinker, and then our DEF fill. So a couple of things about DEF, you have a 10 gallon tank. Um, you wanna make sure that your DEF is fresh. It does have an expiration date at last, or it's good for about a year, um, and it doesn't like sunlight. So just plan accordingly when you sell your tank. If you're gonna go sit in the campground for a long time, you may not want to have, you know, let that def get too old. Then we've got our steps up and our engine block heater. So it's been so fun showing you the outside, but now I'm really excited to check out the inside with you. Come along. So here, when I first walk into the coach, a couple of things that I noticed, first of all, really nice, strong grab bar. That's super important as you enter and exit the coach. And I love on the door that we have a nice um, handle that we can pull so we can really get a nice, secure, uh, tight closure of our door. And then you'll see right when I walk in, we've got the control pan panel for our awnings. So I can take them in and out from here, stop them at any point, and I can turn on the lights on the awning right here from this pad. Then we have our first of the spider pads, which you're going to love because you can do so many things from these pads. On the home page, you've got the entry light. So as soon as you walk into the coach, you can turn on the lights, the porch light, living room light, entry door, lock and unlock. And then you've got a master light. So I absolutely love that. Look at this. Everything goes off. Everything comes back on a true master, which I love. And then this backlight is just going to turn this pad off. So then we go to our tanks uh, next page is our miscellaneous page so we have the tank levels of our fresh gray and black tank the levels of our house battery and our chassis batteries and then we can adjust the screen settings here and the screen brightness right below that we've got the battery disconnect for our house battery so great to have that right at the front door and then the step on and off so every time i open up this front door that my steps are going to extend when i shut the door they're going to retract well, once I'm at the campground, at the resort, I don't want that to keep happening. So when I get here to my campground, get set, then I'm gonna go ahead and turn that step off so that it remains out um, with the door going, you know, opening and shutting. And then it will come, obviously I wanna have that on my checklist to bring in, but it will automatically come into once I start the ignition. So right here we have our auto leveling, which is our hydraulic jacks. So you have to be in ignition mode for this to work. Now, right now, it's letting me know that my jacks are down. And you can see we've got the solid green light in the center to let me know that I'm level. Now, if I needed to manually level, I can scroll over here, auto retract. So I can do the auto retract or I can go to manual level, hit enter. And then I can adjust manually if i need to raise one side lower the front or the rear i can do that there then when i'm ready to leave i'm just going to hit the retract all this is a really easy system it's nice that it's right here so you can kind of watch things from outside um, once you hit the the button and then for tiffin owners so tiffin recommends that you get your campsite you put your jacks down first, slides out, then when you go to leave, slides in, jacks up. So above the leveling jacks, we've got the inverter monitor so you can see what kind of charge you're bringing in, 
Uh, you can also set your auto gen start here, but you can do that from the spider panel too. So I think that's almost as that's almost easier, but you do get a little um, cheat sheet here to let you know all the functions of this panel. A couple safety features. So we have our RV CO and propane gas alarm, and then we have our fire extinguisher. Right at the top, right here by the bunks, we have the smoke alarm. Now, personally for me, I love that the fire extinguisher is right there by the front door. So if you need it outside or inside the coach, you can easily get to it. But this is a 38 foot long coach. And I think that you need more than one fire extinguisher or another system. So at National Indoor RV Centers, we're really concerned about our customer safety. We sell Protang, which is a fire suppression system. Um, it's really wonderful. It is activated by heat um, and then it disperses a chemical to get rid of the heat or the flames. Um, just watch my video. I think you'll, it sells itself and we can give you a custom quote today if you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. Right behind me, we've got the blackout shade for the front door. And then above that, we've got a nice big cabinet right when you walk in. Great for storage. This is probably a place where I'd hang some keys. So I know where those are. And then we, you can see we've got our speakers, our vents, LED lighting, and we, too, we do get two um, 15,000 watt BTU AC units with heat pumps on the Allegro Bay. Welcome to the beautiful living room of the 38BB. So this has just beautiful finishing touches, I think. This is the sandstone wood. So you have three woods that you can choose from, the sandstone, the white linen, and then the platinum. And you can choose from two interior packages. This is the solstice package, and then there's another one to choose from. We went with the marble um, tile floor. There's also an option for a matte, um, a matte uh, tile floor as well. And we went with the alpaca leather co um, color. Also, we've optioned in the theater seats. So I think the theater seats are really nice and comfy. They're really like some of the best, <laughs> I'll be honest. And the fact that the uh, backrest is powered along with the footrest so you can just extend that out, put the seat back or raise it and just get nice and comfy. <laughs> a little early for my morning nap, but um, you will love these seats. So you've got to come out and sit in them. Um, two cup holders here, right in the center of the control. Um, you have two USB charging ports. And then we have a great little spot here for all of our remotes. I'm always losing those, so those are really nice. Right to the right of me, I've got a panel here for the driver side slide, the passenger side slide, the master light, the back light, the galley light, and the living room light. And then I can also adjust my screen brightness um, right here. Right behind the recliners, we've got the uh, power tower. So you've got the two 110 outlets and the USB-C and the USB charging port. And then if you're not using them, just Tuck them away. Also have the day shade and the night shade. So very easy to use, nice and manual. And then we've got storage above. So really nice amount of storage. And here is our, if you haven't seen this, <laughs> been missing out. This is the Tiffin Bible. So what I love is they really do a nice job of telling you which floor plan this is, features, and then you've got your index here, and then everything, your little SD card, everything you need, all your little, those little things that can be rolling around in the coach are in this Bible. So, and then it's got tabs for your inverter, generator, I mean, your microwave, it's got it all in here just makes it really easy um, to find whatever you're looking for. So you've got the manual, it's right there, and they give it all to you in this nice little book. I love it. Next up is our over the cab bunk. I love this feature, I love the little window. Kids can hang out here, have a great time. You've got a privacy drape, which is really nice. You've got cubbies on both sides, and then you've got the front window and then a manual close on that. You've got cubbies, um, two cubbies, and they have USB charging ports in there. 
and then you have two 110 outlets over here. You've got your main light, and then you have a little fun accent light. So I think they did that for National Indoor RV Centers. It's our blue color, so I love that. <laughs> um, and then your other privacy drape. But really nice. Uh, this year, they've made it so this just lifts up. You push it over, and it gives you a lot more space here as you're heading down into the cab. Now, you're probably wondering how you're gonna get up into this bunk bed. So I'm gonna pull this back. And then we've got our two little tabs here. I love that Tiffin uses the telescoping ladder. So it just hooks right in. And then you have a nice secure way up into the bunk area. And this ladder will support up to 250 pounds. At the dinette, you've got the 43 inch LG TV and sound bar up behind it. And then we've got the day and the night shades on the window as well here. Opening windows, so you can have that nice cross breeze across, across the coach. We went with the workstation dinette here. You can do a booth. You can also do the bar dinette. So give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We will be happy to order you your custom coach, if we don't, if you don't see exactly what you want in our inventory, we have no problem doing retail orders. Um, so just give us a call and you can really just completely make it your own and exactly what you want. I love this because I love these chairs. They're very comfy and they're solid. Like they're, they're a comfortable chair. So when you look at the living room here, you've got the two recliners there, plus these two chairs. Plus you also have the two folding chairs that go with this dinette. Um, so you can extend your table and then bring in the two other folding chairs so you can have dinner for four. Underneath the table, we've got a nice amount of storage here, our subwoofer. To the right, we have a nice drawer, soft clothes, and two storage compartments. And then on the left side, file cabinet drawer. So you can put that whole Tiffin Bible right in there if you want to. Another drawer and another drawer. And then to our left, we've got the uh, another power supply here for the kitchen and for the office space. So two USB charging ports and two 110 outlets. As I come into the kitchen, you see the beautiful countertop. I love the backsplash, the way they finish off the window, kitchen window. Love the kitchen window because I like all that natural light that we can get. So let's check out our drawers. First of all, we've got the extendable countertop. So that just flips over. Now we've got extra workspace. Put your cutting board up here. You're ready to go. And then it just stores right away. Storage here. We've got a place for all of our remotes. I think you'll probably move them, but we've got the spot for the utensils, which is nice. More storage and soft clothes and another nice storage compartment. Since we're doing the storage, let's just keep going here. So I do love a spot for a garbage can because I hate that to be the first thing you see when you come into a coach. Spot, spot for your garbage can, more items here, and then you've got a spot here for your sink covers. So when you're not using those, you can just tuck them right in there. Then we have a nice big drawer here. And then the dishwasher, which is mount, you know put in here as a high drawer. I love that so that you don't have to bend over and get into the contents of, uh, contents of the dishwasher. Now let's check out our dual bowl sink. So we've got our sink covers, stainless steel sink, residential faucet, and then then we have our induction cooktop. So any pan that a magnet will attach to will work on this. It heats up really quick and then it cools off really fast too. Then when you're done, you can just put the cover back over and you have that extra prep space. Then we have our convection microwave and air fryer. So three in one, I love that. So you can fry up that chicken in here. You can make a beautiful loaf of bread, cookies. Um, it can do it all, and now you don't you don't need that air fryer because it's built in here. I love that. Nice big storage compartment here. 
adjustable shelves. And then Tiffin has given you little touch-up paint samples. Um, you can do that. Uh, if you have a bigger boo-boo and this isn't gonna quite cut it, make sure you bring your coach to National Indoor, Indoor RV Centers. We have paint booths for RVs at all of our permanent locations. We do the best work and we guarantee it for life. So give us a call when that day comes. I know it's not fun, but we'll help you with your insurance company and make it really, you know, make a bad day into not so bad. We'll, we'll help you make it all better and it will look amazing. And we can't miss this. Mr. Bob has signed this coach. So that's really special. Really great to have the founder of the company that's still so involved with the company today. He comes to work every day and takes customer calls and he's just an amazing man that's built an amazing company. We have another panel here so you can control your living room lights, your galley lights, your task lights, hall lights, turn the water pump on and off here, your backlight for the panel itself, your fan. So we've got our kitchen fan right here. Then you can adjust the uh, screen brightness and you can adjust how long the screen stays lit. Then we have the LG residential refrigerator and freezer. This has a nice secure close. So I don't think you need to worry about a lock. <laughs> it's, you really have to pull on that to come open, which is nice. So it's gonna securely shut. Now, one of those things that I do have is a checklist, pre-checklist for the exterior of the coach and the interior of the coach. You have to have one because you gotta do things in routine. Bad things happen when you skip the items on your checklist, like you forget to unplug from 50 amp shore power. I think it's happened to us all at least once. Well, it happened to me at least once. <laughs> so embarrassing. Um, luckily, no damage was done, but that, that checklist just keeps you from making those really silly mistakes. So if you want a copy of my checklist, just email me at Angie at nirvc.com. More storage, we've got our pull-out pantry. So that makes it really easy to get to all of our goods. More storage, more storage, more storage. And then down below, we've got the receptacle here for our central vac for the hose. So here's our main spider panel for the coach. On the home screen, you're going to have your time and you're gonna have your house battery levels, your chassis battery levels, your front and rear AC. You can click into that to go right to that page. It's kind of a quick button from the home page. Then you've got your tank levels, your aqua hot, and right here is where you can go to um, look at diagnostics, faults, tests, go back. You can turn it on and off from here to your diesel and your electric. And then you've got your water pump. Next up, you have the living room lights, hall lights, bed ceiling lights, and the backlit for this panel. Generator, so we're not running on the generator right now, but you can start it from here. You would just push and hold that button, and then you could stop it right there. This will allow you to enable the AGS settings. Then we go to our light panel. So we've got our living room lights, passenger slide, galley lights, task lights, driver side slide, and the hall lights. And then right up at the top, we have the master button, our bedroom lights, bed and bath lights, and then our entry and exterior lights. So your entry light and your porch light. Your power panel, this is gonna let you know that we are plugged into shore power right now. It's going to give you the information on your house and your chassis batteries. Um, it would also let you know here if you were, you know, plugged in, if you were using shore power. And then this little dial right there, if you click that, this is where you can do the easy setup or the manual setup for your auto gen start. So easy setup, it's gonna walk you through questions. It's gonna allow you to set the triggers um, for when you want your auto gen start to start, how long you want it to run, what time you want it to run, so you can set that all up um, once you get your coach. Then we're gonna go to our climate control. So right now uh, we don't have the front AC on, we have the rear AC on. Whichever one is lit, you can sync both units to that one that's highlighted. Um, you can also change the temperature one degree at a time or you can use the dial. 
just whatever you prefer. You've got your AC, your heat pump, your furnace, and then your fans, your electric heat, your diesel heat, your interior heat, and your quiet mode. Then we have our slide room controls. So you do need to have, uh, you need to be in the ignition mode and have the park brake set. I recommend having the ignition all the way on. Um, and then you can extend and retract your slides from right here. And these are our all, all hydraulic slides. They are the quickest slides in the industry, if you ask me. Then we've got our um, fan buttons here for the galley, the mid bath, and the rear bath and our ceiling fan in the bedroom. And then if you go up here, you can change the theme, Fahrenheit, screen brightness, your clock. You can update the system, go to screen settings. And then this is the one I like to show is the mobile app. So download the Mira app. You're gonna look for this ID number to pop up once you've scanned, um, once you've downloaded the app and then you will enter this pin so that you can get a lot of the functionality that you can do on this pad on your phone. And then this is just cleaning mode, tells you which model you're in, and this is the version that you're using on this um, spider panel right currently. As I walk into the midship bath, you can see that we've got a nice little sliding door here for privacy. And then right inside the door, you've got the light control, water pump, the fan, vent control, and storage adjustable shelves that's really nice especially in the bathroom because you know some of those heart hairspray bottles they're really tall <laughs> so you need to have the small spaces and the tall spaces then we have the toilet with the pedal control window with the shade here towel bar for our hand towel and our toilet paper holder and then we've got storage below nice big storage there three drawers, storage, two 110 outlets with the resettable breaker there. And then we've got our nice solid surface countertop, the backsplash, like I love that Tiffin does just that little bit of back backsplash. It just makes it look that much nicer. Residential faucet. And then we've got our mirror, storage behind the mirror, and more storage. As I walk into the master bedroom, lots of things to talk about. First of all, we've got our king size bed. You can option in a queen size bed if you prefer, but I know that most of our customers enjoy the, the extra space of the king size. Now, one of the things I like to say about Tiffin's bed is that you've got space on both sides of the bed where you can actually make it. You're not going to rip your rings off or your fingers off. So I do love that. And then you've got a cubby on both sides with a quick charge USB charger, and then our little nightstand area. Two 110 outlets on both sides as well. And then you've got the panel here on the left side so you can control the bedroom lights, the hallway lights, the fans, um, the fan, and then the master light and the back lights. And then you can adjust your screen brightness or turn that screen off 100% too. Opening windows on both sides so you can get that nice cross breeze. And then you've got the day and the night pull downs for privacy. Right underneath the cabinet, you've got the reading lights and they are adjustable so you can direct that light where you want it. And then the overhead storage. So again, two separate spaces on both, above both sides of the bed two 110 outlets and nice storage. So typically for me, this is fairly hard to get to. So I'll usually get a big plastic bin. I'll put in all my winter sweaters, put that up there, and then it's easy to get to when I need them, but they're kind of tucked away for the season. And we have storage below the bed. So that's a nice big space for more goods. Across the bed, we have a great setup. So we've got our 32 inch LG TV. And if you just lift up on that, you've got your AV cabinet behind there. So you've got your HDMI input, another 110 outlet, your Wi-Fi button, cable input, Blu-ray DVD player, and extra storage up above. Here we have our nice um, big window, emergency exit window. And then we have the two USB outlets, two 110 outlets, a nice little counter space here. Nice big drawer. 
another nice drawer. And then we've got wardrobe space. So hanging space, see how nicely that ladder fits right at the bottom of that compartment there. And then more hanging space on the other side. And then check out all the drawers. So one, two, three, four. I mentioned a fan on the panel, but now you get to see it. For those of you that have to have your bedroom fan, we've got it for you in the Tiffin. And then also I wanted to point out that this is the thermistor. Um, so it communicates with the thermostat to keep the temperature nice and pleasant. So this is the one for the bedroom area. There's one out in the living room area, but a lot of people will ask me what those are. Now to the master bathroom, Got a nice big closet there for storage with the adjustable shelf. And then we have the breakers for the coach and they're all nicely labeled. Nice, big, deep drawer. And then this bottom one that looks like a drawer is actually a panel to wiring. So leave that up to National Indoor RV Centers to, to get into there for you. Then we have our shower. I'm gonna step up in here so you can just see how much room you have. Quite a bit of um, arm room. You can put your little foot up here so you can shave your legs easier. And then you've got your skylight here. So if you have, you know, bigger family members, they're gonna be fine, extra height in here. And then I do love this because Tiffin gives you the cover for that skylight. You would be amazed <laughs> at how much heat will come in um, on a sunny day through that skylight. So they close it, but you still get that nice LED light here so it doesn't get all dark in here. Then we have our handheld wand. You can make that sort of a fixed spot there too. But what I wanted to talk about was this Aquaview shower miser. So right here you have a dial. You're gonna turn the dial so that no water is coming out of the shower head. What's happening, the water is recirculating. So you turn on the water, no water comes out because it's recirculating. So it's warming up. And then when the dial lights up, you go ahead and flip the switch. The water now is gonna come out and be nice and warm. Uh, so no, no need to waste any water from your freshwater tank or needlessly fill up your gray tank. And then we've got a nice spot here for our shampoos. Love that we've got a towel bar. And then again, you just wanna make sure that you lock this when you go into travel mode. Then we have great storage here and check out all that storage behind the medicine cabinet and adjustable shelves beautiful solid surface countertop residential faucet again that backsplash two 110 outlets here and the resettable gfci more drawers and nice space there towel bar and then we've got the Optional washer and dryer. So you can now get the washer and dryer on all floor plans. So there are three floor plans for the Super C. Um, just so you can kind of see how big that dryer is. And the washing machine. And then we've got storage. Another storage drawer below. I do love drawers. It seems to make everything organized better. And then we've got our window here with the privacy shade and our push button controls and toilet paper holder. So I always like to show the floor plan with the slides in. You can easily get to your rear uh, bedroom, sleep in your bed without putting the slides out. Say you're spending the night at a truck stop for some reason. As an in-between, you can easily get to the bathroom. No problem whatsoever. You can get the refrigerator and the freezer open, the microwave, have full access here, in and out of the coach, and all the way to the front cab. It's gonna get a little tight right here, but not hard to just scoot right by. So lots of things to talk about here in the cockpit and with our chairs. So we've got the air, the air ride, so it's gonna take some of the bumps and the lumps from the road, and you're not gonna feel it because you've got this nice cushy chair. So let me show you a few of the features here. First of all, we've got the lumbar support, so you can adjust that so it's nice and comfortable for you. And then we've got the air ride, so you can let the air out, but if you wanna feel like you're really 
like large and in charge, you can just like raise your seat. Look how high. Now this, so that's gonna put the air in or take the air out. And then this is going to lock it into place. So right now you can see that I can really move my seat a lot. Now I'm gonna lock that in and it's, it's not gonna move. So I'm gonna take a little air out just so I can demo the rest of the seat. You have another lever right here in the center. You're gonna pull that forward. Now you can actually move the cushion forward. So to give you more support underneath your legs, you can do that or you can push that back. And then right underneath that is the control to move the whole seat forward and back. And then here, you're going to pull up to adjust your backrest. Here in the entrance door is where you can control your exterior mirrors and get those just perfect for you. Then a big miscellaneous pocket there. So we have our ignition and then straight up from that, we can turn on our cruise control here. Then you can do your set down, resume up, and then to increase what you've set it at or decrease, you can do that right here. Then you've got your lights. So in the center, they are off. Down are your running lights, up are your headlights. And then on the column, you can pull forward to flash your brights or push back to keep your brights on. Also, we've got our windshield wiper controls. And then we just push in for the windshield wiper fluid and our turn signals. Here at my feet, we're gonna push that down to adjust the steering column. So just a quick shot of your dash readings here. You've got your PSI levels, your water level. Over here, it's gonna give you your depth level, so you can see that, and then obviously your odometer. Then we have the normal spin or the auto traction control. I typically leave my auto traction control on unless it's a slippery situation um, where you need more help, then you may turn it off there. And we have our 3000 Allison transmission. So reverse, neutral, and drive. And then you can go into mode and you can go into economy mode, or you can press the plus and the minus together and you can get uh, your transmission diagnostics. Filters are okay, trans help okay. And then any codes would come up here. You can also manual, manually downshift or upshift from here. So this is one of the features I absolutely love, this Garmin display panel here. So much that you can do from this panel itself. You've got your radio controls here and you can turn it on, mute it, seek and find here, change the stations, your time of day. And then we can go over to, obviously you can Bluetooth in, um, And a lot of these are the apps that are, you'll need to download the Garmin app first for these to work. But you've got tutorials you can go to, system updates, the phone, pitch and roll. You can calibrate. So I'm not gonna walk through all of those because you can spend a lot of time on here, but I do want you to see the cameras. So you can click through. Cameras are nice and clean, clear. We're inside the building at National Indoor RV Centers inside our storage building right now. Owner's manual. So this is really nice to have this right at your fingertips. Then you can go into your navigation view your map this has a great navigation system in it so love that the other cool thing is your co-pilot can put this in their lap go ahead put the destination in all that good stuff not having to reach across the dash and try to do that while you're driving you can actually sit it in your lap and work from it right there so really really cool and you can still control the radio even when the the pad is not connected so the power plus and minus the mute and then your seek and find buttons. And here is the parking brake. So you pull to apply, push to release. Our auxiliary start. This is where, let's say that you've been in Canton at te in Texas. If you have been to Canton, you know what I'm talking about. Shopping all day, you got distracted, come back, coaches, you know, you can't get it to start. So you wanna take your auxiliary button, hold that down, because you're gonna tie your chassis and your house batteries together. 
get enough power to start your engine. Um, if that doesn't work, then put, hold that down, push your generator, get your generator started. Let that charge everything for a little bit and then you should be able to start your coach. So super important button. Speaking of generators, you can start and stop your generator from right here. And this is your radio camera button. So when we are not driving and we're just living in the coach and you want your radio and your camera to come up, you can turn that switch to just have it on then. USB charging port and USB-C charging port. Your mirror uh, heat or defrost your 12 volt receptacle and this is your engine regen or um, diesel particulate filter when you need to burn that off you will just push that button right there and then this is really cool so this is to lower the back end of the um, super c so that you can attach a trailer hitch to it typically those trailer hitches are pretty low so you can lower the whole back so that you can easily attach to your trailer or whatever you're towing. Here are the controls for the driver and passenger windows. And then we have our engine brake, so off or on. And then we can lock or unlock the, door, the cab doors from here. Then we have our cup holders here, our fan, and then direction of the airflow and our cooling and heating. Well, ashtray, those are becoming extinct. Maybe it's just a coin tray. Those are also becoming extinct. <laughs> Who has coins with them anymore? At the top of the cab, we have nice little storage spots. So you can even throw your cell phone up there if you want. That's kind of nice. And then we've got the lights for the driver, and the passenger. So this is one of my favorite features on the Super C. Obviously, you cannot see the you know, your rear through the rear view mirror, but you can because you have a camera and it's so nice and clear. So you can see the rear view or you can touch this and you can change your camera mode so you can see the side of you. We're currently in the National Indoor RV Center storage building. So, and now you can see the front view. Go back to your rear view camera. Here is where you can um, adjust all your settings. So here in the co-captain's chair, I have all the same buttons and functiona functionality on my seat as well. Little storage over here to my right and nice grab bar for when we get in and out of the Super C. So one of the things that people do like about Super C's is that you have the engine, the, you know, the cab access. Um, you can easily get in and out without, without having to go through the house. I went ahead and put the blackout shades in the front cab area. It took me about one minute. It's super easy. So you have one shade across the front, goes behind your rear view mirror and put your sun shades down. And then you just push those into the windows area and they just stay super easy. And now you've got a fully private coach. All right, so now I'm all ready for the test drive. Let's go ahead and hit the road. So the Allegro Bay is really easy to drive. It's um, basically like driving a big truck. <laughs> your tires are out in front of you so you don't have to adjust for that you just need to remember that this floor plan is um i know it's a 38 bb but it's 39 i think four inches long 39 feet four inches so just under 40 feet so that's what you really got to remember is that you just gotta watch your back end um, for no tail swing there but really easy to drive kind of feel like kind of like you know tough driving a super C. And speaking of that, check this out. <laughs> I think that's my favorite part. <laughs> you know, you can make a little kid's day that way. Plus I do like to have a good horn so that if I need to get someone's attention, I can. So I do love that. When you turn your blinker on, you'll get the camera view of the full side of the coach of the direction that you're turning. And you know, just so you know, it is louder up in the cockpit when you have the diesel up front, the truck um, diesel engine in the front, but it's not bad. I can still carry on a conversation without yelling to my co-pilot, um, co-captain, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> and so now my cruise is set, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride, enjoy this beautiful country. RVing, I don't know if you know this or not, but RVing is the, uh, the ticket for the fountain of youth. I really truly believe it. it keeps our, our customers 
actively doing things, seeing new things, learning, growing, and enjoying each other and um, all the wonderful things that we have in this country of ours. So, like I said, we want to make sure you're out using your coach. Uh, you know, the great thing about National Indoor Beast Centers is that we have six locations across the country in the route of, um, you know, common route of RVers. So, if you need service or anything along the way, the other thing that we do at National Indoor RV Centers is we have an AV club. It's our all inclusive motorhome club. So, you just have to have a good coach with a motor in it and you can belong. When you purchase from us, did you hear that? When you purchase from us, <laughs> you uh, we pay your first year's dues. So we cover that for you the first year. And you get service discounts. You also have access to our rallies. And we have phenomenal rallies. We have an events team that's um, been challenged with finding new locations, always nice resorts. It's basically like a cruise in your coach. Everything's covered, food, drink, entertainment. It's all on us once you arrive. Um, so for a small fee, I mean, a really small fee, typically a rally, we pay for two thirds of it. Our attendees pay for a third. So between us and the other sponsors, it's a great value and a great experience. So make sure you go to aimclub.org and check out our website. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I always do the decimal reader. So it's at 71. Um, in this Super C, a little bit, you know, louder than our Class A um, gas or diesel, but you kind of expect that. So, um, you know, some people love the ability to have the cab, the front cab, so you can get in and out quickly. Um, they like that the serviceability is all sort of outside for the engine compartment. Um, you know, any work that needs to be done is typically outside the coach, but you know, there's, there's pros and cons to every um, coach. So call us at National Indoor RV Centers. We wanna help you um, get into the right coach, not just, you know, buy what we have in stock. We're happy to order you something. Um, we just want happy customers out enjoying the lifestyle. The only way you can really know how this drives and performs is to come to National Indoor RV Centers and do a test drive. So make sure you put that on your list. Look us up, we have six locations across the country. Give us a call, set an appointment, and come in and test drive a day for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of the 2025 Tiffin Allegro Bay. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous Super C would cost you. Well, MSRP is $387,698. If you want to know how much I can sell it to you for, make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We wanna make the buying process fun, and easy. This is an exciting thing. We get to sell fun and you are, you know, living out your dreams and buying a recreational vehicle like this. So remember at National Indoor RV Centers with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less. We do uh, consignments, we take in trades. You can finance this for 20 years. So don't wait, give us a call today. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Also check out my RVing 101 series, our AIM Club and our service portal video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day.